Yeah, we got Yazuka Army in the house. Yeah. I am a full fledged member of the Yazuka. <laughs> okay, you did it better than me. I tried. I really did try. I can't do it. <laughs> oh no, I can't do it. I can't. Do it. <laughs> that was better though. Mark you're, Hamill. You've been practicing. <laughs> Do you guys know how much fucking Mark Hamill charges for an autograph? How much? I'm going to like this tweet. Like, 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 like. like. Yeah, yeah, he's losing his mind right now. What's funny mind. is people are praising. Oh, my, he's so brave, that protest he's doing. Writing like under a tweet. But did you do you know how much it costs to get that guy's autograph? How much? Too much. $400. Oh. And that's just for the eight by ten photos that they have at their thing. If you want to get a comic signed or a DVD or some shit, yeah, it's like four twenty five. Is that for one signing or like if you have a group of stuff? That's four hundred dollars too one, much. Does one he have item, a dude. Signature? Like, is it is it a fancy signature? Is he like probably not? More... No. Have you heard him oh. talk? He's a retard. What is it? Is it? Uh, does he charge per letter? In his signature. Yeah, I was, was going to say, you know, like, it might be difficult. I'm I thinking about afford, going to that. Ten bucks. I'm, I'm thinking about going to that Chicago fan expo and he's going to be there. And I'm like, oh, get a Star Wars comic book sign. That'd be kind of cool. And then I looked at the prizes. It's like, no fucking way, dude. You know, Ewan McGregor is going to be at LA. I want to go up to him and just go like, I'm not, I'm not one of those racist uh, Star Wars fans, am I? You were talking about with Reva? She's a shit character, isn't she? I don't she? know. If I went to get him to sign stuff, I'd make him sign a bunch of Force Awakens Ray shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> get some Rose Ticos. Just just to remind him that, yeah, you were in this movie. Didn't have any lines, but you're in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Okay. Let me show you guys this because this is ridiculous, dude. All right. He only has 400. Okay. So check this out. But yeah, I Silver talked to Snuffers Jay about right. this. You get more I, at a strip club out of your 400 bucks. I talked to Drunk 3PO about this, and he said that this, so this is probably just for a photo, like, because usually they charge extra for special items. Look at that. 400 for a picture, 400 for an autograph. Fuck, this is the most I've ever seen anybody charge. Uh, 200 is the most I've ever seen before that. And that was for Josh Brolin, Thanos. Yeah, I, I'm supposed to blow your mother he freaking mind movie. right now. Everybody, get ready, lock in. Mark Hamill is not even an A list or a B list star. He never has been. Yeah, he's not <laughs> he's, worth it. He's only done two things: fucking Joker and Star Wars. That's I it. got into a knockdown drag out fight with somebody about that. We're like, "Oh, he's a prominent voice actor." I'm like, "Exactly, he's a fucking voice I'm actor." Voice actor. And I was if like, I "How many my other wife. fucking voice actors are getting brought to the White House?" Because they were bitching at me, like, because I said, "So you sacrificed Luke for this? Good job." That when he went to the White House and did his Jabloni One Kenobi or whatever with fucking Biden. And You're shit. right. He's never really been in anything else. No, holy holy fuck, no! It's for his pocket. Not charity. Now and he then, was and, in the Giver. <laughs> yeah, he's done a few it movies, also, but he's in, never uh, had another hit. He's whoa. been it was in Giver, you say. King's guy as well. I'm like, blown he, away by this. What an asshole. Four hundred. I feel like my months. mind's been yeah, my my mind is you know actually what's sad? blown by this. Is Shatner is cheaper than this this last time? Shatner's I knew. gonna be there too. He's a hundred dollars. So nice. Oh sure. Shatner, Shatner's yeah. worth Shatner's it. so fucking nice. Yeah, Shatner's a fucking legend. I paid him for his signature. I got him. <laughs> I, I got when, one. Hey, here. I, when I, I would pay to, for Shatner. When I went to uh Cincinnati Comic Con with Cecil and Anna and Camelot. Uh, we all went because Shatner wasn't going to be there. We Thank wanted you. to meet him, and he was only a hundred bucks. I had him sign a, a Star War, a Star Trek, the motion picture poster. I'm about to say, I got a frame. disrespectful, bro. If you had him sign a Star Wars comic, bro. Well, he'd have <laughs> the only Star Wars comic book with James T. Kirk's signature on it. So I guess it is unique. Hey, um, Darth Vader. So Darth Vader's going to be there. He's charging two hundred. No, one seventy five. Seventy five. Shatner is worth more than Anakin, in my opinion. See, this is the thing. For Shatner, you would probably pay 400 bucks. Oh, check Charlie Cox. What does he charge? Just out oh, of curiosity. He, uh, Shatner raised his prices. <laughs> he he used to be 100. He used to be 100. Uh, inflation. inflation. How What's much Charlie is Cox charging? Just out of curiosity. Oh, Adam Savage is still doing stuff? $100, $100 for Daredevil's signature. Hey, I didn't know he was from England, bro. 
Oh, all the good actors are from England. Yeah, well, he's not, he said chop chop cheerio and all that rubbish. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> he's precious, man. I didn't know he was. Gina's like gonna that. be there. Oh wait, uh, the who's the the chick next to Gina? Uh, what does she charge? John, you remember you told me you gonna hook me up. This one. You gonna yeah. hook Firefly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is that? Sixty. That's the Deadpool I, I, woman, ain't it? Yeah, she's also in Gotham. I liked her in. in Underneath that. that picture, but then one to the right is that um, Terminator Two. What's his name? Um, yeah, Robert Patrick. Oh, Cam I want Linda Slater's. Hamilton. Give me Slater's. Uh, I want his. Oh, uh, Slater. <laughs> Say by the bell. Fifty I'm bucks. Just, okay, Slater. I get a Slater autograph. I don't care. Say by the bell. Save my life. Love Say by the bell, man. Oh, what's up, Smash JT? Hey, how's it going? Sorry, uh, Smash. We're just going over the craziness of celebrity autographs. Luke Skywalker, four hundred bucks. Tom, don't Damn. dust yourself. That's crazy. And I, I was going to pull that up, Tom. Night. I I had to blow it up. Do you want? I want to ask y'all a serious question. When you saw, and I know you seen the Saved by the Bell all the episodes, who won the fight between Zach and Slater? Slater would whoop the shit out of him. I yes, agree. Slater. Slater won, bro. Slater won. Slater's like lifting weights all the time and yeah. he's fucking star football well, player. I mean, couldn't Zach pause time though? Yeah, he could. He could. They he took that away. He lost Shut that up. one though. <laughs> oh, there it is. Look at Tom Flesson. I'm jealous, man. Aww. I'm jealous, bro. He didn't That's let you awesome. touch him? No. He didn't even I'll let Anna touch him. I got my arm around him, but that was pre-COVID too. Yeah, he has like a pex, a pex, a pexiglass fucking window between him and like regular people now. <laughs> Let's keep it all the way real. This is a good lineup of people though going to this con for real. That is how a good much, lineup. How much was it? For... How much is Janeway selling a signature for? Oh, how much was it? Four hundred? Yeah. You said four hundred dollars, dude. For a signature? Yeah. yeah. Jane Jane is only 70. 70 bucks. Yeah. That's not bad. That's not That's bad. Crazy. She should be more expensive than than Luke. Honestly. Mark Hamill seems to be the most expensive one on there, and he's like below most of pe most of the people on there. He is. Charlie Cost more famous than him. Marissa, how much does Marissa Tomei want? Let's see what she wants. Let's see how much she is. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Yeah, she's still she's see, sexy still. Tom, let me borrow that for a week. This well, is actually you, Andre. I'm just holding it for him. Is that autograph too? How recent are these pictures? Oh, hold on, let me pull that up, Tom. From back in the day. Tom, I'm jealous. <laughs> I need that. I like that. That's cool. Is that graded? That is graded. Oh, yeah, that's that. actually Andre. It's what I'm holding on to. Y'all hear about CJ, CGC, what they're going through? Oh, what's the problem now? I think they fit the start using AI to grade their stuff. Oh, no. I'm That's serious. It's, it's, you can look it up. It's uh, they're gonna start using because there's been a lot of shady stuff going on with CGC. Uh, a while back, it was two employees that was doing something with Amazing Spider Man. They was grading. No, it's not Amazing Spider Man. They were doing it with every book. So CGC for the for the chat. I don't know who. I don't know how many people care about up, this, chat? but like. Uh, CGC grades comics, and there was a scam going on. They had an insider or something. Uh, people were breaking open the cases and sliding books in and out and then sending them in to be resealed in new cases. And uh, uh, somebody wasn't checking them. Like, they must have had an insider guy helping them uh, fucking re-slab these books. So there's a lot of people out there with, you know, Hulk 181s, which is the, the most scammed book is... Hulk 181, I think Giant Size X-Men, Deadpool's first appearance, New Mutants 98. Really? People were sliding out 9.8s and sliding in like fucking sevens and shit. So uh, there's a lot of people uh, out there. Or another one, uh, there's two Hulk 181s that uh, are out there in majority. Like the blue label, which is, you know, all intact. And then the green label. And the green label is due to something missing or something wrong sometimes. And that, in that case, it's because the value stamp is missing. These, like, little stamps that people would cut out of comics to collect them all back in the day. And uh, they would take green label Hulk 181s with no value stamp and slide that into a uh, 
9.8 blue label That's and you're up. talking thousands of dollars in price difference mm -hmm. between a blue and green label so yeah, it was a big scam a big fucking uh ordeal over that that they're lucky that crashed their business. Yeah, so that's why they uh talking about doing AI. Uh, instead I don't of know human what beings. fucking AI would do to help it. The, the well, problem I, is I they're guess, scamming, they're scam ass insider that was fucking around with them. I, well, I guess what they're trying to do is uh make the people feel more safe purchasing from them instead of a human body. It'll be a robot. That would make me feel less safe. <laughs> yeah. What up, Ripple? <laughs> hey, Ripple. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. I don't like AI, but uh, I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't even use CGC that much anymore. I'm kind of tired of their shit, to be honest. But you know, it's others that don't, too. I don't know why people think CGC is the end-all, be-all. It's others out there that do great, great. Yeah, but if you want to sell it, no one's buying any of the other. I don't know, man. Stats. I think, uh, what's the other one? Is, uh, RPS? CBCS. Yeah. And then there's PJX and some other ones. I would never buy PG, PGX or whatever that shit is. <laughs> 